All right, Matthew, how are you feeling coming off the 800 here at Simi Valley? Uh, felt pretty good today. First lap, I was kind of left in the dust. Me and my teammate, we were like dead last. So I had to like swing out on the, on the outside, last lap. And I was just catching guys and I was able to just take the win. I felt really good. Uh, coming off a, like a 425 mile two days ago where I felt really bad. But yeah, it was good. How's it feel being back on the track finally? Uh, it's awesome, man. You know, it's been about a year since like actual like competition like this, and uh, we've just been uh, training cross country. But uh, to be back on the track feels nice for the senior year. It's probably my last. Well, it is my last season before I head off to college. So I'm really happy to be back, man. So you've been training mostly cross during like the quarantine and all that? Uh, yeah. I've been out there on the hills every day, six, six, seven days a week with my boys, uh, Jack Angus, Marcus, the whole varsity team. And yeah, we've been grinding out these miles because we, we knew that there was eventually going to be a season, so there was a never stopping. How long ago did your mind turn into track mode? Um, honestly, right after uh, league finals, I didn't really have the best race, but I already knew I had such a good base under me that it was just, it was finally time for like track season to try to contend for that state title, which I'm trying to go for this year. Heard someone talking to you after the race. You started a YouTube channel? Uh, well, it's kind of like a team YouTube channel. It's called the uh, Royal XC. It's just like our videos over the past four years. Um, it started by like Angus Fitzgerald, uh, one of the, like, the fast guys here. But yeah, we just uh, kind of like vlog our races. And uh, I don't know, it just makes the sport a lot funner. Yeah. That's awesome.